Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. This is the Huawei Valiant for Metro PCS. This is an $80 off-contract Android 4.1 Jelly Bean phone. Phones at this low price point are few and far between, so be aware that there are going to be some trade-offs. For example, there is no LTE. This is a 3G phone. Second of all, with the camera, 3.2 megapixels, no flash, and no autofocus or touch focus, it is a fixed focus lens. There's no front-facing camera either. Photos were okay, they were bright and colorful, but that fixed focus will really mess you up if you can't get the perfect distance between you and your subject. Also, video quality is low resolution, only VGA, and you can limit it to send through SMS messaging. What you do get is a four inch touch screen, which is larger than some of the other $80 rivals. Phone is also pretty nice to look at. It's basic, but there's a soft touch finish on the back and the proportions are pretty pleasing to hold in your hand, up at the ear, slide into a pocket, put into a purse. Since this is a Jelly Bean phone, there is Google Now on the device. There's a one gigahertz dual core processor on the Valiant. However, it isn't fast enough to handle a lot of resource heavy games. I also personally found a problem with stability on this device. A lot of the times apps would flicker or reset, they would crash, and sometimes they wouldn't even load. That didn't happen often. Usually rebooting the phone or even rebooting the app would reset it, but it is something that you should keep in mind. It's at least a minor annoyance. Storage space on the phone is pretty low. You've got four gigabytes in total. That's about 1.9 at your disposal, but there is a micro SD card slot that can take up to 32 gigabytes in external storage. There are clearly some problems with this device that I would keep in mind if you're going to seriously consider it. If it were me though, I'd just save up for a better phone. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. You can catch my full review of the Huawei Valiant at CNET.com.